Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you my UI stack on how to save your online modes to your custom games. So, what I would recommend doing is either memorizing or take a photo or something of this screen right here. Okay? Because we want to be able to know where the modes are. So, if you're doing quick play, that's going to be one. Nuketown 2, Infector 3, and so on. Okay, so once you do that, we can get right into the glitch, okay? So what we want to do is bring in a second controller and log it into the game, okay? Now we want to go to Barracks and go to Theatre. And disband the party. Now with your second controller, disconnect it, just switch it off, it doesn't matter how, whether it's unplug your battery, unplug the wire, or just press hold, or just hold the Xbox button to switch it off, okay? Just switch it off either way, okay? Now, just load up a clip. Okay, so now you've gone into the game, just pause the game, just pause the clip, and switch on your second controller, like so. Now, just spam A, just a few times, just to make sure that you've gone into the background, even though you can't see it, it is bringing your second controller into the game, okay? Now, just go and quit the game. Okay, so now you're back into theatre, you just want to back out of theatre. Now you know you've done it correctly because it says 1 out of 6 on your party, but you can still move around with your second controller. Okay, so if you have achieved this, what you want to do is go to Operators and click on one. Okay, so now once you've done that, just press B on your second controller that will create a UI error. Okay, just dismiss the error, press social and back out of social. And then go back to the plague tab. Okay, now you've started a UI stack. So because we want to save online matches, what we want to do is to be able to save fire team. Okay, so we want to go down to custom games now I'm just going to change the mode to a normal mode, but you don't need to, I'm just doing it for the sake of doing it. Okay, so now go to edit game rules, settings, and win conditions. Now press your start button to go to options, press B on your second controller, that will create another UI error, just dismiss it. Now you can back out back out and now you can leave lobby now you are in multiplayer we want to we want to be able to use our mouse but because we can't use split screen with our mouse we're going to have to try and remove the second controller so what you're going to have to try and do is with your second controller go to barracks so that's left tab now you can see on the very top that you can see your keys. I think that means that you are on the right thing. So you just want to scroll all the way down. Press up one. Press A on your first controller. That's brought me to the arcade, so I'm not on the right one. Just back out of it. Then with your second controller, press up again. Press A. Now we're on disband party. 
Now we can remove our second controller. We can back out. Okay, so now I'm on multiplayer screen. Now I've disbanded my controller. With your first controller, you want to scroll down to the mode that you want. So in my case, I'm currently on quick play. I want to scroll down Nuketown, Infected, Gunfight, Face Off, Mosh Pit, Party Games, Fire Team. Okay, so now I can press A to start my search. Now, with your mouse, press Options and Save As. Then just save it. Okay, so now I can back out. Now you can check that you have saved this by backing out, backing out, backing out, all the way to the title screen. Then go into the game, go into multiplayer, go to custom games. I know it's in the background, but it's perfectly fine. You can just go to your modes and make sure it has been saved like so. January the 3rd, that's today. Now you can just load it as you please and press start match. Okay? But if you press start match, it will give you an error. So I'm going to give you a hint on how you can sort this out. Just back out of custom games, go to versus bots, and press start match. Alright? Then press leave lobby and back out so now you are in the versus bots but the countdown has stopped press social go to manage party scroll all the way down and leave party now you have left the party just back out now you're in custom games but the only difference is when you press play it will count down from 9 and not 3 so, because we've got countdown from 9, what you can do is press play, press the mode, go to saves, and select the mode. Now, it will be starting while you're doing changing the mode. And now, it will play as you please. So, if you've enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. If you need any help with this UI stack, please let me know in Twitter or Discord. They are in my description. Go f follow it and join it. And I will see you all in the very next video. Peace and enjoy your day. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked it. Please subscribe. Hope you liked it. I've already said that. Please end the video.